Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and welcome to my Extras channel. We're unboxing the Lenovo 520 today. This is one of their Idea Center all-in-one PCs. And we'll take a look here and see what the first box has. This looks like the power adapter. And in here, I think we might have a mouse because this is, of course, an all-in-one. Actually, this looks like something else. This is an optical drive. So they give you an optical drive with this particular version. I'll put links to where you can find this in my uh, video description as well as on the main review. So you do have uh, the power supply and the optical drive in there. We have a stand here. What I like about this device is that it is a uh, all-in-one PC, but it's only about the size of a monitor and they allow you to plug things into it uh, so that you can use the display on its own. So if you're in a college environment and you want to uh, maybe connect up a PlayStation or something, you can plug the PlayStation into the computer essentially and have the video pass through. Uh, we've got the standard wireless Lenovo keyboard and mouse here. We'll see how those work in the main review. And now let's get to the business end of the device here without breaking anything, I hope. And there we go. So let's pull it out. Very thin here, it appears as though it is. Uh, let's make sure I don't grab it the wrong way. And that is it. So let me get rid of the box here and then I'll show you what this looks like. And then I'll put the stand together and we can see uh, what it looks like once it is set up. So let me get this undone here. And by the way, this is on loan from Lenovo. Uh, so this is it. Look how thin this is. This is a really thin and light uh, PC. I believe this one, let me take a look here on the back. This one has an i7 on it. So this is pretty uh, high end here, uh, but very, very thin. Uh, it's a little on the heavier side than a monitor might typically be, but that's to be expected. Looks like it's got some uh, venting here on the top, but really, really thin. This is really cool. On the back here, we've got uh, two USB ports. These are full speed USB 3 ports. Let me get a better angle on this here for you. Uh, full gigabit ethernet right there, HDMI in and out, as well as the power adapter. So let me get this on the stand and you can see what it looks like and then we'll have a full review coming up soon. Hang on. All right, so we are all assembled now and there is just a little screw here that you have to get in on the bottom of the base and you're good to go. There's a rubber foot here to keep it from scratching up your desk and it's also protected here uh, on the bottom with two more rubber feet. What's really cool is the webcam is retractable and check this out. So when you uh, let it go, there are two USB ports on uh, both sides of this. So you have some retractable ports here if you don't want to uh, have that camera visible and you don't need anything plugged in, you can just hide it like so. So that's pretty cool. And overall, it's just really thin here. I'm really quite pleased with uh, what this looks like, especially given that we've got an i7 in here. So a pretty powerful PC, but uh, something in a very small form factor that can also also accept input devices too, like uh, game consoles and other things. So we'll be testing all of this on my main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. The full video is coming up soon. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, The Tangential Soup Podcast, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.